Hello, so I have a process video for you here and it's going to be like a Project Life document style one. This is um, about the 4th of July weekend and it's going to be going into my 2016 album. And I know I have previously said maybe I was going to stop doing this, but get on my nerve. I do struggle with this type of um, scrapbooking. But I figured I'd give it another try since so much happened. I had so many pictures from the 4th of July and I didn't want it to be taking up several pages in an album. So I figured I'd try to give this another try. I have all these um, cards. So I'm going to give it a go and I actually am quite pleased with how it turned out. So I'm going through my cards here. I have tons from Kelly Perky and Beautiful Mess um, memberships. So I have a pile, a huge pile of them in all. And I was kind of actually excited to document the 4th of July weekend because I mean, it just happened and I had a great time, fun time. And I actually will have another spread that I'll go before this because I floated the river um, earlier that day or on the 4th of July weekend as well. <clears throat> so I'm, like I said, just trying to look through the cards. And I think what I'm going to do is not do it by the weeks anymore. That's, I, I think that's what I struggle with mostly is like keep it by the event or whatever I feel like scrapping, documenting. So now I'm just going to through the 4x6 cards. And this is a 12 by 6 um, page protectors, and I just I have them 12 by 12 from the Becky Higgins cards, and I just trim them down. So, again, like I said, going through all the cards, trying to find which one I would want to use for it and stuff. And just keep rearranging and things. So I stick with that red one up there with the sunglasses and the drink and the camera because that kind of embodies what happened on the 4th of July July weekend when I was there and in vacation mode because it was like a little mini vacation which will be put down there on the bottom in a moment um, because it was like a little mini vacation that I took for the 4th of July weekend. So... And find my cards. I really wanted to pull in the red and oranges too as well, so that's why I keep going back and forth between the orange and the reds with the and the teal color. And here we go. I pulled out the orange one that says vacation mode. I may even change that up a little bit later on. So now I am going to be putting down labeling, using one of these labels from the Kelly Perky monthly kits, and I'm going to stamp on it um, Sweet Summertime, or Sweet Summer. It's a beautiful mess stamp. I think it was from their latest uh, monthly subscription for June. So just trimming out that label sticker, or label, I'm going to grind the stamp and stamp it. And figure out where I want it and place it on the card. So I'm also, uh, I was looking on this roll of stamp, you can kind of see down the bottom, um, see if there's any other words, labels, or um, phrases on that one that I wanted to use instead. So inking it with my stays on, and stamping it down, it doesn't get very clean at first, so I re-ink and stamp it as well. And it gets better. And 
and you know, just gluing it down, and then we're going to trim it off, and use my tiny attacher to add some little stickles into it to give it a little bit more texture there. And here I have some, they're puffy, or never mind. <laughs> I'll pull those out again in a little bit. So now I'm going to do the title for, and I was thinking about how I was going to do a 4th of July weekend, or if I change, end up changing it to July 4th weekend. Even though July 4th this year was on a Monday, we still partied really hard on Sunday, Sunday into early Monday morning, the 4th of July, and then we're out again on the 4th of July on the lake. And when I, I'll add some washi tape as well to it in a moment, and some wood veneer, um, lettering. I really like how this journaling card came out, or this title card came out and on this. So there you go, they just popped up on screen, shared up on screen there, the whole wood veneers. And going to figure out, spell the word weekend. And I actually didn't have to search that hard for all the letters. They were right sitting right there on top. So I'm getting all the letters finished out, and I decide I want I need I wanted something to kind of anchor the word weekend with. So I'm going to I think I'm looking for the washi tape now or something. I don't know what I was doing, but I'll be pulling it or no, it's sitting there. Who knows what I was doing? My dog was probably wanting me to play with him or something. So putting this stuff away. Yeah, and here's where I decided I wanted to use the red washi tape there from, I think that was from the Beautiful Mess kit, the or monthly subscription from last month, or in June, that I'm using it for anchoring it. And I'm going to glue this stuff down and start gluing it down. All right, so I got most of it glued down, finishing up the, with the E and the W here, and then I should be moving on to the next little card. So the next thing, I'm going to use this Rolly stamp to stamp on the where it says vacation with an orange card down at the bottom. Um, I think it was going to stamp fun times on it. Um, but I'm not going to like how it comes out. So what I decided to do is go find my punch. So I got my punch and here we go. I'm going to trim it down just a little bit so I can punch the circle around it nice and well. And actually, this the large size punch here, it works perfectly to punch around that little label there. I'm still going to make it a little label. Then I'm going to pull out some more journaling cards to kind of back about back it up on. Um, I was thinking about maybe having it floating there into the label, but then I decided, there we go. I'm, gonna think, I'm thinking about just laying like floating there, but then I decide, no, I'm just going to put it on a label card. So I'm going to pull out some label cards and find the one that will work for it. So I found this one that the little computer says work with. I'm going to place this over the vacation the little label that I made over it. And I'm doing it, I'm doing it now. Probably cleaning up. 
Okay, so I found this. I also got these puffy sticker um, arrows, and they matched with the color, so I put that underneath those little icons. And now I'm just pulling out these, again, those puffy heart stickers, and just placing them around the page. Different parts of the layout here. I thought about covering up the what it said in there, um, the weekend yay, when they were the one of those little perky circles, but it said not to. And I'm just trying to decide what color hearts I want to use to place around the different title on the different cards. So now I was going to use, I wanted to journal with my typewriter that I bought, but the typewriter that I bought did not work very well. So I'm going to end up just using my handwriting and writing. So I'm looking at my pens to find the right size one that I want. And I always like to, when I journal, I like to journal with the point um, zero 0.03 pen. And so I have them all, my pens labeled with the washi tape with the size, also written with the size of the inks with the pen size so I can see what how it also looks in size when I write with it numbered what number it is. So I'm just journaling about the weekend and I think and then after I finish doing the journaling I'm going to add a little another little label sticker to the one of the firework the bottom firework picture. And that will be completing the layout. So thanks for watching, and I will have some close-ups in the end here. Have a great day.